Huh. You're still awake, are you? What's wrong? You usually fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. Oh. Insomnia? Can't sleep? Well, I don't know what that feels like, so I don't know what advice I can give you, my little dreamer. Dream eaters don't sleep, silly. After all, there's always someone dreaming somewhere. How about we talk for a while? Maybe you'll get things off your chest that way and go to sleep easier? Awesome. Alright, good. First things first. Do you have a favorite position to sleep in? Hmm, it's just that... I've been watching you tossing and turning since you came to bed, and I just want you to be comfortable. I don't think there's anything I can give you to sleep easier. You humans can't eat dreams after all. And that's pretty much all my kind eats. What do they taste like? Well, it depends on the dream, really. Sometimes they're sweet and fluffy, like eating cotton candy, but those are usually kids' dreams. They don't really have anything to worry about, you know? But sometimes the sweetness is just too much, almost like giving a eater a sugar high. That's why we take shifts. Others can be bitter, though. Nightmares or dreams inspired by bad memories. We eat those quickly, get rid of them so that the dreamer can have... A sweeter dream for us next time so they can sleep easy as well we have a lot of dreamers that we visit <laughs> but you're one of my favorites which which is why i want to help you sleep quicker i really like your dreams and i always make sure to take away the nightmares but i guess you wouldn't know that huh since this is one of the few times we've talked <laughs> Still can't get comfortable? Hmm. I don't think I'm really supposed to do this, but would you like to put your head on my lap? Alright, let me just get... Uh, here. There you go, little dreamer. Comfortable. <laughs> Can I pat your head? I know humans like physical affection. You're very warm. I've never touched a human before. I've only observed them. I've talked to a few before, though. Some were sad. Some were funny. Some were scared. Hmm? Some were scared of me, yes. At first. But they liked me towards falling asleep. It was always nice talking to them, just like with you, my little dreamer. Is there anything else that can make you more comfortable? <laughs> Good, I'm glad you're cozy. Now, is there anything on your mind, dreamer? Anything happen during the day that makes you anxious? Oh, I... I see. That does sound pretty bad. Maybe... Maybe you can try again? Hey, no, none of that. They don't let you have a do-over, then that's their loss. I've seen your dreams. Sometimes you study in them, too. It's a little funny, actually. You're very hard-working, aren't you, my dreamer? I know you are. Sometimes too hard working. Don't worry about it too much. A good night's sleep will do you a lot of good. Everyone works better when they're well rested. Dream eaters get their strength from dreams. Although, I've noticed that humans I talk to seem to have better dreams. Because of me? Thank you, dreamer. But I don't think I do anything special. There are many 
dream eaters who are better at my job than me. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you, dreamer. I can feel your breathing evening out. Are you starting to feel sleepy? <laughs> Good. It means I'm doing this correctly. Do you have a pillow that makes you sleep better? I know you humans can be picky when it comes to pillows. <laughs> they do look like clouds. I imagine they're just as soft, too. Oh, this one? Here you go. Let me just lift your head slowly. Is that good, dreamer? Yes, I've had a lot of fun talking to you, too. I can visit you again tomorrow night if that's really what you want, and we can talk again. I'm looking forward to it, too. Sure, we can make this a reoccurring thing. I just need to talk to the other dream eaters, make sure I can get my schedule cleared up for you. Yes, I promise, I wouldn't lie to you. All right, a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> if it'll help you sleep. Mwah. There, sweet dreams now, my dreamer.